Over the last few years, City Council has been working on a set of rules and bylaws governing laneway suites. Now, property owners are actually starting to take notice of the opportunities that laneway suites can offer. What's the advantage for property owners to invest in laneway suites? Well, one, uh, you're going to actually get an investment property that is not part of your principal residence. Two, you're going to actually uh, utilize more of your property and get a return for it. So you're going to have an initial investment that's going to cost you X amount of dollars. But then that rental income that's going to be coming in will actually pay that back handsomely. So let's take an average uh, rent, let's say $2,100 a month to $2,400 a month for a one bedroom apartment. Let's just say this suite here will be $2,100 a month. Well, in a year, that's over 25,000. In 10 years, that's 250,000 plus dollars. So right there, that math shows you that there's a real advantage for property owners to build laneway suites. This laneway suite, which is under construction, is being built by Richview Build Design. Uh, they are great guys who I've been talking to about, uh, you know, what what's involved in laneway suites. And you know, there's a lot of rules that have to be followed. But at the end of the day, the payoff for property owners is substantial. Uh, for this particular property, the principal owner is retaining their garage space. And what they've done is that on the second floor, they're building a one bedroom suite that's just over 500 square feet. It'll have a separate entrance beside the parking spot that'll take you up to the unit. Laneway suites will help reduce the need for rental housing and also will enhance neighborhoods with large lots. This is a win-win for everybody, a win-win for the city, win-win for property owners, win-win for renters. All in all, great idea and I'm so looking forward to watching over the years of Laneway Suites as they materialize in our city. Toronto is Laneway Suites.